You are just one big, beautiful, mixed drink of learning disabilities. Okay. So how do we fix it? Let's talk solution. Well, there's no cure for what you have. Oh my God. I got learning herpes? There is no such thing as learning herpes. I'm blistering up. It's because I'm trying to think. Kevin Hart plays Teddy, a man who dropped out of high school and becomes the owner of a barbecue restaurant, but only after the original owner named Joe retires. He has a girlfriend named Risa and has a huge ego. After an accident at his barbecue store in which he caused it, trying to propose to his girlfriend, he is offered a job as a financial advisor. However, he needs a GED in order to get hired. He decides to go get his GED, coincidentally in the same high school where he grew up in. Tiffany Haddish plays Carrie, a teacher at the high school who teaches night school. The reason why he dropped out was because he has dyscalculia, which is dyslexia, but it mainly involves math. He also has a processing disorder and a focus issue. The only real issue I had with this movie was, what is the relationship between Teddy and Lisa? Are they friends? And if so, are they close friends? Acquaintances? High school sweethearts? We don't really know who she truly is. And even after he proposes to her, we still don't really know who Risa is. So her characterization, whatever it may be, is completely silent. There's also this guy named Stuart who was Teddy's bully in high school, who happens to be the principal of the same high school that he grew up at, and he can be very abusive. He is always behind Teddy's back, always waiting for him to screw up. And the reason? Well, you'll find out when you see the movie. The other students in night school are Lewis, who worked at a restaurant, but thanks to Teddy, he lost his job. Miwa, a teenager who's about to go to prison for some unknown reason. Teresa, who has a bunch of kids who doesn't know how to stand up for herself and has an abusive husband. Matt, who's a father who's not that bright. And two other guys, one who's in prison, and the other, named Jay, who hates new technology and robots after he saw the Terminator. And that's pretty much the extent of the characters in this movie. I've seen people not really loving this movie. I mean, they kind of give it, like, maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10. But to be quite honest, I kind of had a blast with this one. Okay, I'm not gonna say that it was absolutely hysterical, but... There were parts of this movie that made me laugh out loud, so if a comedy can do that, it's doing its job, at least to an extent. The chemistry between Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish is actually pretty good. Now, I don't really know who Tiffany Haddish is, outside of the fact that she was in Girls Trip, and in fact, coincidentally, the director of Night School is also the same director of Girls Trip. But I gotta be honest, the chemistry between her and Kevin Hart is really good. I mean, they do work well off one another, and I would like to see them paired up again in the future. Tiffany's very stern, but does have a good heart underneath it all. And Kevin Hart, well, he's kind of a liar and a jerk at times. He has an ego the size of Mars, and kind of likes to show off in the wrong ways. It's only after the third act when he realizes that... He's kind of a screw-up and wants to make things right. If the whole movie really involves someone getting his GED and finishing high school, he's trying to find an opportunity to finish school. Now, this movie actually did a good job of understanding what having dyslexia is like. It also does a good job understanding what having a focus disorder is. And this movie also did a good job of helping us understand what having a focus disorder is like. I know this because I myself have a focus issue. There are some people out there who do have learning disabilities. I know several of them. And I can tell you that it did a good job of displaying that. It was pretty accurate. So if a movie's able to do that well, then surely it's doing something right at least. But supporting characters did not have a lot of weight to them, but I felt like their presence was necessary. It's supposed to build a bond between Kevin Hart and the other people in night school. And to be totally honest, I'm actually surprised that there are some schools who actually do teach night school at all. That part I didn't know, so that was fine. But writing was okay. I think, if anything, some jokes land and some don't. But then again, most 
so-so comedies do that. You know, you get to a joke that's actually really funny, and then you get to a joke that you're kind of like, eh, it was all right, I suppose. But writing is not this movie's strongest point. What's strong about this movie is the chemistry between Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish, and the jokes that do work are really funny. Trust me, I laughed like several times, which in a movie like this is actually kind of hard to do. So, really, I think this movie's fine. I don't really have anything hugely against it, outside of the fact that I wish there were more funny jokes and Kevin Hart's girlfriend slash fiance could have been more defined. But other than that, I didn't really have anything hugely against it. If anything, I say watch it if you're a Kevin Hart fan, or you somehow don't really have anything to do and want to go see a movie this week. Go see Night School. It's a decent film. Overall, I give it around a 4 out of 5. It could have been better. It's a decent movie, don't get me wrong, but I'm giving it a 4 because there are some aspects about this movie that it got right, and there were some aspects that weren't so good. But generally, I think it worked out okay. So, Night School gets a 4 out of 5. Barely. <laughs>